They say you should always try something once. And here I am at the Carterton A&P Showgrounds and I've decided to do <laughs> roller skating. So let's see how I get on. Every Thursday evening in Carterton, locals of all ages pay just $5 for the chance to cruise around on the smooth wooden floor of the sports stadium. And much like me, you don't need to be a pro. Anyone is welcome. I'm ready. The skating club was born after Verity Turner and Chris Robertson discovered there was nowhere to indulge their roller skating passion in Wairarapa. We couldn't find any groups. There was no one skating at all. And so we decided to set one up because we're a bit crazy like that. And people just started coming. We didn't have any skates to lend out to people at that time and we just like, hey, you know, just bring your own skates and have a go. It's just about having fun, so it's not competitive. Just a community group of um, kids skating around, it's really good, like today it's raining and it's a thing that they can do. For those getting started, there's an obvious top tip. Really all about balance. That's why I like it. Why the kids like it, just a free-for-all where they can just do whatever they like. It's a little bit risky, you might come a cropper. Oh, oh I catch that! I fell over. Again. Why do you come here? Because it's fun. Anything else? I can skate around in a safe environment. And for those wanting to roll with a more gymnastic flair, the resident coach is at hand. Meet competitive skater Aspen Fell. Hello. <laughs> What's going on? We're just training all the little kids, eh? Yeah, we're doing our bobs. We're also doing shoot the duck. And we've been doing some cheers as well. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. Aspen Fell is one of the top three skaters in New Zealand and is looking to compete in the coming World Skating Championships. And when Aspen isn't winning trophies, She's sharing her skills with the next generation. Teaching the youngsters like how to fall is very important because if they aren't used to falling, they'll be scared, they'll develop a fear about it, but also you don't want them to injure themselves. Practicing at the wall first before doing a new skill so that they're able to feel comfortable doing it before rolling around and trying it. To improve her own skills, Aspen travels every day from her home near Martinborough to Upper Hutt's skating ring. Her coach is three-time world roller skating medalist, Sarah Jane Jones. Outside heel, and press big toe. Aspen started skating as a teenager, something which came with its own challenges. Mum saw like an advert in the newspaper and it said, learn to skate in Wanganui. I felt very out of place because I was a 13-year-old amongst about five and seven-year-olds. <laughs> I kept falling over, but you have to fall over to get better, so. <laughs> and where do you think Aspen is going in her career as a roller skater? Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, Aspen has quickly moved through the ranks and now her coach believes anything is possible. Aspen is such a hard worker. She is really dedicated and she knows exactly what she wants to achieve. She won't <laughs> stop until she gets there. She's definitely going to go far. I can see her name and lights. I see all these skaters and they think, I'm too old to start skating, and it's not true at all. You can go far as a teenager. So my hopes and dreams is to show skaters that you can do literally anything. Back in Carston, Aspen is hoping to revive its roller skating glory days. In the 1950s, the town's very own skating rink opened, attended by over 1,000 eager people. I would love to have a team, hopefully next year, um, that can go to competitions. That would be my goal for my coaching. Artistic roller skating is definitely becoming way more popular in the Wairapa. Um, I've had a few parents actually contact me and now they're having private lessons. It's definitely having a revival, yeah. <laughs> I can't catch up. Here there's no competition, right? And it doesn't matter if you can skate or not. There's been a fall. There's no judgments. 
people are trying to help you and give you guidance and things if you want it. And if you don't, then you just do your thing. If you really fancy having a go, and why not? Carters and Skaters provide the skates. Just turn up on a Thursday and have a roll. There's even a lolly at the end. Phil Stebbing, local folks.